Hi everyone. Uh, I thought I'd come back and tell you all that I've got um, a special baby here under the blanket. And <clears throat> I don't know guys, um, <laughs> we got some major gender identity issues going on here. <laughs> So, um, by me just saying that, you might know exactly what I'm talking about and which baby I'm about to reveal to you. <clears throat> I got this uh, baby and was messing around with boy, girl, boy, girl. Can't decide what I want to do. Then I came back and told you, here it is, here's the gender, but it didn't have a name yet. And I think that was my issue, right? I didn't have a name for this baby. Um, and now, I mean, I still don't have a name, but I'm pretty sure that I know what this baby is finally going to be. And I know I already said the final decision, but <laughs> I'm changing my mind again. Ah! <laughs> So without further ado, let me just show you who I'm talking about. For those of you that might be new or have no idea, if you haven't seen any of my pre previous videos, here we go. You ready? All right. So <laughs> we've got the Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Remember this baby came to me as a girl. Uh, Cynthia Nance is the lovely artist that brought this baby to life. I was sure I wanted this baby to be a boy. I changed the changed uh, this little one into boy's clothing and everything. And you know what? I just I don't know. I I thought I did want it to be a boy. <laughs> and then I got to looking at, you know, at photos from her auction and everything and I just started remembering why I fell in love with this baby to begin with and I think it was because she was a girl um, I know that sounds really crazy maybe it doesn't maybe some of you have been through this before but um, yeah sometimes I think I want something a certain way but then if a lot of other people or the community is flooded with a doll that is a popular sculpt like this one um, well, let's face it, most of Bonnie Brown sculpts have been very popular as of late, but um, whenever there is a certain gender that is really popular, and it seems to be the boys for this one, I a lot of times want to be a little different in that aspect, and I want to do the opposite, so that I have somewhat of a unique uh, baby, if that makes any sense. Um, I know some of you probably will, but I don't have issues with people having a doll that looks like mine or having clothes that are like mine. Or you know, I don't care about any of that. Um, I'm not a petty person. I'm not a picky person. I'm why well, I'm picky with food, but that is it. Uh, <laughs> but you know, when it comes to the hobby and everything, the more the merrier. Whatever. Um, but sometimes I do like to veer the opposite direction whenever there is a baby that is mostly one gender I usually find it intriguing to see the opposite gender just um, just to be kind of different a little bit different so this little girl is going to remain a girl <laughs> um, I didn't do much with her other than change her clothes and um, yeah, I just, I found myself, I wasn't really doing much with her, and now that I've changed her back into a girl, I've been uh, really interacting with her a lot, and it's funny how that really changes you sometimes, but I have a couple names in mind for her, but I really don't know, I'm not going to announce any of those names yet, because I'm really not sure if I want to go with any of them, um, Goldie is really happy about her being a girl again because she didn't like this baby as a boy at all and that's not really what you know changed my decision or anything but she she comes in and interacts with the babies too um, not as much as she used to but she does and if she doesn't like 
a specific doll and a certain gender. She doesn't really tend to mess with it much. I noticed that she's been picking this one up a little bit more now that she's back in girls clothing. <clears throat> but she did tell me outright that she did not like this baby as a boy. <laughs> and I'm like, okay then. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, so yeah, and my very indecisiveness sometimes uh, got the better of me and I finally just decided to go back on my word. Uh, at least it wasn't anything crucial, it wasn't anything life or death, uh, just, you know, the sex of a doll, right? Uh, <laughs> not a big deal, but um, I know some of you were very happy that I had made this baby a boy, um, and some of you were bummed that I had changed it into a boy, so I just tipped the scales on y'all now, right? So... <laughs> Any of you that were like rooting for girl, guess what? You got your pick. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is her and uh, she is just, oh, that face. That face is just so amazing. I just love that little face. You gotta love that face. <laughs> See if I can get it to focus a little better here on her. I don't know, that might be the best we're getting for right now. I don't know why it chooses to focus on what it focuses on. But yeah. So there she is. Super excited to have her in my collection. And you'll be seeing more of her. I posted a picture a few days ago on Instagram with Chloe making her cute little face that she makes and saying that something along the lines of um, mama making or changing her mind or something, I don't know, something goofy. And I got a decent amount of responses from that. Like people were like, what? <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> this is, this is the one surprise that I needed to tell you all uh, from my last video. And, yeah, I have a couple more things I need to share. Some things that might be, I don't know, might be a shock, might not be. I'm not really sure uh, how people are going to feel. I know um, I'm still shocked at myself for <laughs> some of the decisions that I've been making lately. But some of it has been premeditated decisions uh, that are that were made because of the idea of us potentially moving someday. And as much as I love having a pretty large collection of dolls, because I get my pick of the litter here when I come in into the nursery and I get to interact with whichever baby I, you know, I don't have to show you the same baby over and over again. Not that that's a bad thing. In fact, I, I kind of sometimes enjoy that on videos where I get to see the same baby a lot of times. But um, for me, I like to just have that diversity in my nursery. And uh, I'm really downsizing a lot. And some of the dolls that I have for sale are going to be maybe shock shockful um, to some of you. I'm not sure. But, you know... If if my husband and I do make a move, uh, I'm definitely not going to be able to take as many babies as I have now into a new place because we um, we won't have as big of a house as we have now, and um, it'll just be different. So I don't even know if I'll have a nursery. I might not, and if I don't, that's really going to change things for me. But for right now, I'm just slowly starting to whittle it down. Um, the sad thing is, is I have orders out for babies, so I'll still be bringing babies in. So that might be a little bit of a conflict there between, like, I thought you, sh I thought she said she was trimming down. Um, <laughs> I am trimming down, um, but, you know, I can't, I can't uh, go back on my word uh, for some of the babies that I have already ordered and in the works. So, um, in fact, I'll be getting a new one here in about three to five business days. Uh, so you'll be seeing a box opening hopefully soon. And, um, that'll be fun, right? But yeah, um, the only ones I'll be bringing in are ones that I feel like I really have to have in my collection. Um, whether they're short-term, 
that I enjoy them for a year or two and then I flip them for another baby that I really want instead um, or it's one that stays for a lot longer or even forever I don't know um, I don't really have any forever babies I can't say that I have forever babies because I forever is a long time and I can't I can't promise that forever is gonna be forever <clears throat> So, not that I flip dolls to make money necessarily or to get money. Um, sometimes I do. Like right now I was trying to, you know, pad my bank account a little bit because it's getting pretty piddly. But uh, for the most part I, I um, sell a doll to get other dolls. So that's kind of my game. <laughs> that's my thing. See, little darling. Yeah. She's so sweet. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will see you all soon. I gotta get going and get my stuff done. Um, it's rush, rush, rush right now with uh, schooling and everything, but I will talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful day and evening wherever you are. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you would care to. Um, any comments I receive, I always comment back, no matter who it is, for the most part. Um, and yeah, I'm glad to talk to anybody that wants to talk to me. So I'll see you all soon, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.